Drake took to his IG story. Mm. Okay, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. I got you. So, I got you. I got you. It's me. Hey, twin. It's me, twin. Hey, twin. Don't do that. Okay, twin. It's me. I got you. Okay, Don't worry. Drake took to his Instagram story this past week. He uploaded a picture of Solange post the elevator, uh, the infamous, famous elevator fight, which uh, was Jay-Z, Beyonce, and Solange, of course, mm -hmm. where she allegedly slapped Jay-Z in that elevator. For cheating with Becky with the good hair. Wait, is it allegedly? It's allegedly. We saw that. No, we saw that. We saw, we saw the walk the, out of the elevator. No, no, no. no, 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 no the, the video, video, the video in, the in the elevator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't yeah, saw that video? The TMZ video. No, I said... Oh. No, oh, is you, it allegedly? Because you said allegedly. I'm like, it's gotcha. not allegedly. I heard they sending out cease and desist. I'm trying to be careful. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. All alleged. We but have yeah, assets now. We do have assets now. Right. So Drake posted the picture and the images of Solange after she slapped from him. From that day. That, from that day. And then right after that, he uploaded a picture of Aaliyah. Oh, and I guess what I wanted to ask oh. you guys was, Drake has been alluding to he's going to win round two, he's going to win game two, et cetera. And it looks like he doesn't want to have any back and forth for Kendrick Lamar going forward in terms of a rap battle. That's what he said? Yeah. That's that's basically, well, one of his one of his boys, okay. academics, <laughs> relayed that message. Like, Drake has no intention to do an active rap battle when well, he says... Well, I also wonder, was it confirmed and is it true that yeah. he is headlining the, the uh, Olympics? FIFA? FIFA. Like, or FIFA. That's, yeah, we spoke about that. Yep, so, yep. Possibly bigger I don't than the think Super Bowl. A half -time. I think it's no, no, just he's the ambassador. It, yeah, he's the ambassador. No, I thought they the were event. doing for no, the no. first time a halftime performance. Mm -mm. Uh, maybe I don't know. I don't know. Could you look that up? We can. Uh, I do know yeah. to your point that you're right. Do though, something man, over there because he um, is the ambassador yeah. of the 2025 uh, FIFA. FIFA. It's going to be in Canada. That's a fact. That uh, Pierre, fact check that part for us. Yeah, yeah. And for the for the performance, to yeah. me, I'm not going to hold you. Yeah. Here we go. We know that Solange slapped the fuck out of Jay Z. Mm-hmm. It could just mean that. Not that it's Jay-Z, but if he just also went on this rant about friends, that could have just been a meme like, I'll slap the fuck out of you niggas. Like, we use a lot of these memes to to, mm, to I like kinda, that breakdown. You know what I mean? We use memes, mm -hmm. we use the, the, the nigga, like, all the hot ones. When niggas are on hot ones, we use pictures and memes of moments mm -hmm. to describe our feelings of what we what, what how we feel right and so i don't think it was a direct shot at jay-z i think people are digging into that mm -hmm. but i do think that maybe it's just i'm gonna slap one of you niggas mm -hmm. and mind you we did just hear a whole rant about how he feels about friendships and how he's felt slighted and how friends will backstab you and not call and you turn and turn their back and right. turn your back on you right. i think that that's what that could mean okay well, you know what I mean? Let's, you want to go play the audio? Yeah, let's hear Drake say it. He then plays Me, Myself, and I by Beyonce. I love it. Right. Uh, Could this have any correlation with um, people feeling like Lil Wayne was slighted at the Super Bowl? Could this also be a defense of Lil Wayne? Because a lot of people... They were so done with that goddamn shit. What you mean? Wayne but, ain't even... Wayne was maybe. never going to headline. But, but go ahead. Maybe. But if I'm Drake, if I'm Drake, I'm going to defend my team, my camp. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so if I know that Jay Z has heavy influence in the halftime show for the Super Bowl, I know that Lil Wayne was not only snubbed, but he was snubbed for the person who just called me a pedophile for the last uh, year or so. Wouldn't I pick a side and be vocal about it? Um, and this is my way of subliminally saying, "Hove, I see you." No. Why not? I think you sound like a conspiracy theorist right now. How? Um, because that deep dive, nigga, you was down there with the submarine that fucking blew up. <laughs> that's not that, 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 that deep dive. I mean, no, that that's not like a deep dive. I mean, that's that far away. Lil Wayne and Dre I, are I, how close in proximity. I, I, I get that, but let's be very clear, too. Wayne, Wayne has been in the same rooms with a lot of the guys that could have put, put him in that place. He's at Fanatics Festival. Not Hogan. only that, yeah, you know what I mean? We've nobody all, is nobody can no, put Wayne in that place I get but that, Jay Z. But, but we've also discussed and talked about the fact that the Super Bowl has been in New Orleans quite a few times. This yep. isn't a local event. He hasn't had any records. Let's also be clear, he is downsized from his stardom as a performer. He probably wasn't gonna get the young money. He was Drake wasn't gonna go up there with him. I don't think Nikki would have went up there with him. First off, Nikki's husband wouldn't have even been able to go to the game to cheer her on because there was kids at the game. Yeah. But 
like I don't think yeah. a lot of people yeah. even seeing when at the Essence reunion there is some bad blood still there. He wouldn't get on stage with certain members of Cash Money. But this has I, nothing to do with the halftime well, show, Jay Z, Drake. I don't think it does. And for all of y'all that also want to see Wayne, why don't y'all sit here and rally for him to be the headliner at Coachella since Kendrick and Rihanna both turned it down? If y'all want to yeah. see him goddamn perform so bad, I don't think it has anything to do with that. The revisionist, personally. keep what? on, keep on. The revisionist history I've seen people showcase for Lil Wayne in the last month or two has been alarming. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm not. It's, it's kind of eye opening to no, me. Now, he's do great. I do I believe that Kendrick Lamar deserves it because of his ear? Absolutely. But the discourse we've had about Wayne and how we've mentioned him and how he's not who he is and what he's done, what he's no, done no, is no. kind of crazy. Let's be, let's be very clear because okay. I don't need I don't need Pierre. Okay. Chopping, this, head yeah. ass, chopping this shit up. <laughs> okay. Okay. I I love Wayne. Okay. However, he is also still his prime was a mixtape era. Mm -hmm. His prime was Carter Three. For a lot of the things that he has released over the last 10 years in the streaming world, seeing his decline of, of his health because of drugs, seeing his decline with having to go to prison because of the, the, the gun charges, and then I ain't even gonna hold you, in a fucking election year, I don't know why the fuck y'all was riding his dick so hard when he's been a Trump supporter for the last fucking two years. I think overall... He was not a great candidate for this. He didn't have the team around him that mm -hmm. we think he has. Because let's be very Definitely clear. Doesn't. Drake is not going to... Oh, we, we had the conversation earlier. Mm -hmm. Drake ain't opening up and guest starring at a Super Bowl without his own performance for first. Sure. We wasn't getting Drake. We weren't. Mm -hmm. But I think everything that you said could be true. But when it comes to Drake's perspective <laughs> and his POV, I'm going to ride for my guy. I my think, guy is Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne clearly felt slighted. Because we watched Lil Wayne take a video saying, yo, mm -hmm. I was heartbroken. Mm -hmm. I was uh, disappointed. Right. I really wanted this moment. I really thought that I was going to have this moment. Mm -hmm. Right? So we know how Lil Wayne feels about the halftime performance. So it's not far-fetched to be like, oh, wait. If Drake and Lil Wayne, they're, they're mans, right. yeah. I'm going to feel the way for my guy. And not only do I feel the way for my guy, right. but you had the nerve... To put the nigga who just called me a pedophile in the position that this man could have easily been in now. It's not about I, whether I see Wayne, what you're saying. Yeah. it's not about whether he deserves it or not. That's another debate for another right. day. The point you is You don't think he was talking about himself? Who? So Drake made this I was just about to say that. Drake made this speech. We have to realize as well, most recently, first off, the entire hip hip hop and the A-listers are against Drake. But he also just crash and burn that relationship with Yachty. They both unfollowed each other. That was his man's. That's been his man's. And so you have Ross, you have Future, you have Metro, you have all of these men that have records. Also, let's be very clear with Drake, that at some point or another, maybe he thought there was a real friendship there. Yes, he was out here fucking, you know, mm -hmm. niggas bitches and shit, mm -hmm. but all these niggas do that. They all fuck the same bitches. Yeah. So I think that like us in this podcast space, where because we work together, because we have the same goals, we hang out maybe with each other more than sometimes our other friends, there's a blurred line to where maybe you think niggas is really your friends. Mm -hmm. And they not. That's a they fact. your competition. They don't really want you to win. They don't Even really see you as a friend because guess what? They haven't really met your parents. They don't care about your children. Mm -hmm. That's not the dynamic. And so we make these false umbrella terms. Like, they're associates yeah. that... We believe our friends and, until now. And I could see where you're coming from in terms of the first photo, right? The Solange photo. All right, cool. Maybe you want to slap up anybody related to the Super Bowl or right. anybody that associates with that side. I could get it. The reason why I was asking you guys if round two is actually him and Hove because that Aaliyah picture feels a bit personal. Mm. Uh, we know Drake has ha uh, used uh, uh, Aaliyah, Aaliyah, samples. Aaliyah yep. samples and lyrics He's, before. He was like obsessed with them. Uh, he, obsessed. We, we remember has, that era, right? right? Tattoo, yeah. So yeah, she's tattooed on We know him. he has a different sort of interest and love for Aaliyah, right? Again, we don't and, know what that picture can mean, but we do know she's been connected to Dame Dash, Rockefeller, Jay-Z, people on that side. Maybe he really want to spar with Hove? Is that the real big fish? I ain't gonna hold it. You just lost to Kendrick. Nigga, don't go after Hope. Just sit your ass down and make some oons to oons music. <laughs> like, Yo, I thought we was gonna first? get that all summer. I mean, what? No, we, the shit with Gordo, I'm mad at it. And those are my shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fucking cool. Sideways and Healing. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Both of those records on repeat. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. love it. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, yeah, right now, I think, I think, just, just give us music. I don't mm -hmm. think we need more beef. You just lost. Yeah. Well, he gave us music and the music not really landed. 
But he's is it not? A, he's giving I, us a lot of music. He give he's giving us a lot of content. He's even giving us speeches. He's giving us Mario. Like he's throwing <laughs> everything at the board Hunger to games. see what sticks, to see what works. Hunger Games. I legit think that this has some type of, and I don't know if round two is necessarily music. I think round two could be. Nigga business. need to just get back in front of a fucking camera. Mm -hmm. I think. Give us Degrassi 2.0. <laughs> like, nigga, go act. That get, would be fun. Do some skits on SNL. Like, you don't want to act. Get no back more. to make people like actually your. He has a likable personality. Mm -hmm. Maybe not behind the scenes, mm -hmm. but he's been likable to the masses. He's got likable to the women. He's funny. He's charismatic. Mm -hmm. Get back to where you get the audience to just like you again because you are dope as an artist.